Jeter, Return of the Jedi, 77 back Kenner card. Stormtrooper, unpunched, in really nice condition the card is. Bubble's a bit yellow, but that's typical of these Kenner US cards. The bubble tends to go really yellow. Nice Stormtrooper though. And a great image on the card of the two Stormtroopers firing. Really nice card back, Kenner. Bought this about 2009. Stormtrooper, Return of the Jedi. It's a good look at the Stormtrooper. You can see the sculpting around the mouth, the body, torso. Really nice. Great looking figure, the Stormtrooper. One of my favourites when I was a kid. I think this was everyone's favourite or one of their tops. Something, a figure you could army build. Great looking figure, the original vintage Stormtrooper. And there's the card image, great image. Stormtrooper Return of the Jedi, ages four and up. From 1983, this is 77 back, so it might have been from 84. Great sculpting. Here's the back of the card. Collect all 77. 77 figures. So the, the ones at the bottom were the latest rave. The second release of Return of Jedi figures. Play sets you could get and collect. Rancor, Ewok, Catapult Assault, Slice New Tools, Ewok Combat Glider. Made in Hong Kong, there's the pop. Really nice. You can see the Stormtroopers number 66. It's a really nice card, it's unpunched. There's not much issues with it. Great looking figure. As far as I remember, I bought this guy up in off a guy in London and we had to meet in the South Side shopping centre in Wandsworth. I bought this and uh, a B-Wing pilot for a really good price. Back in those, you know, 2009, prices weren't crazy like they are now. This is the new Rogue One Stormtrooper, just trying to get a good focus to have a good look at it. Gone out of focus there. You can see the armor there. Great artwork on the card. Rogue One Stormtrooper. Really nice Stormtrooper. Great looking figure. There's quite a few variations with the figure. Okay. I've got my Kenner 77 back with my Tri-Logo Stormtrooper. You can see the main differences in the image that here on the Tri-Logo there's this one Stormtrooper and on the vintage Kenner it's got the two Stormtroopers which was, this is the more used picture. The figures look pretty similar in terms of sculpting because they say that the Tri-Logo Stormtrooper is a hard torso Stormtrooper. It's, it's kind of slimmer than the regular release or earlier versions of the Stormtrooper. But these two figures look pretty similar. So that's a Tri-Logo card. It's a 79 back. Looks really nice. Guard Imperial. Back of the 79 back Tri-Logo Stormtrooper. all the information for European distributors of vintage Star Wars figures which would be Palatoy, PBP, Meccano and Clipper. Okay and General Mills in Germany. So these two figures just look great together. You've got the US 77 back and the European Tri-Logo. Tri-Logos were sold in the US as well. So Stormtrooper Guard Imperial. Got the Kenner logo in the bottom there. And it's a Stormtrooper up there. I mean, the main reason you want to get Tri-Logo is the 
picture variation. You, here you've only got one stormtrooper, whereas here you've got the two firing. And you've, you can see some lights up there where that's not on this image. And just that it's a cool, it's one of the first 12 figures. So it's a highly desirable figure, the stormtrooper. And that the tri logo version is told, we're told the tri logo version is a variant figure that it's slimmer and has better de uh, sculpting than the more common version of the Stormtrooper. But regardless, both versions are highly desired and getting harder to find and they're costing a lot more than they did even a few years ago. These Stormtroopers look virtually identical. I mean, the head sculpts are the same hard to tell if they're different or not. Maybe he's a bit slimmer, the Trilogo version. There's not really much difference. I mean, maybe you can see more sculpting detail uh, in the midsection, where it's less de defined on that. But I mean, the heads look really similar. So that's your Trilogo and 77 back Stormtrooper. Really nice. Better look at the Star Wars Vintage Stormtrooper from 1983. Great image on the card. Love these two Stormtroopers shooting at Luke and Leia. It's the, just before they swing across the Death Star chasm. And then there's the figure itself. What a classic design. Cool, cool figure. The Stormtrooper. Great looking figure. Final look at the 77 back Kenner US Stormtrooper. Looks really cool. I think because these are later release Stormtroopers, the sculpting's improved quite a lot on these two figures compared to like the earlier releases of the Stormtrooper. And then there's the Tri Logo Stormtrooper. Bubble on this is slightly yellowed as well, which is kind of unusual for uh, tri logos. But this is a kind of French type bubble, so it's thinner than what we got with the Palatoy type bubbles. Still a really nice figure. And then the US. So two really great looking Stormtroopers the 77 back and the tri logo. And I mean, they're going to cost quite a bit now but they still look cool all right so I hope you enjoyed this look at two vintage stormtrooper cards all right cheers bye okay so last look at these three stormtroopers they look really nice really would recommend this one because he's articulated you can get him in some nice poses and you know, I think the sculpting on this figure is a little bit better than on the 3.75 Stormtrooper. I mean, the five points of articulation Stormtrooper. And with the additional uh, uh, articulation, this is what everyone wanted to begin with. And that's, uh, that's the Black Series Stormtrooper. It's got more detailing and paint apps. And then you've got the original Kenner Vintage as well. To compare it to okay the guns are pretty much identical his has got a bit more paint a application to it both look wicked though and then you've got this one as well the first order stormtrooper squad leader okay so cheers bye final look at the return of the jedi 77 back stormtrooper really nice card Great looking figure. This is such a classic. Love it. Alright, cheers. This is it. Bye. Okay, here's a better look at the Stormtrooper Hero Masher. Have a good look at his weapon there. 
holds it really well. It's quite poseable. There's articulation at the head, the ball joint, swivels at the shoulders, bends at the elbows, good movement in the legs, at the hips with ball joints and ball joints in the knees as well. No ankle articulation. Back of the card, 77 back. No black towel Ewoks on this. Look for the new Star Wars Return of the Jedi collection. Your favourite stars, pop and barcode. And then the actual.